What's going on guys, my name is Michael. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can use the built-in notes app on your iPhone to scan photos and documents. So if you open the notes app, you can choose an existing note or you can create a new note. And there is an icon here at the bottom of the screen that looks like a camera. You can click that and it says scan a document. So we're gonna bring our first document into view here. This is just a little manual I have for my camera. So we're gonna bring that into view and hit scan document. And without hitting any button, the iPhone automatically detects the document and it scans it just like that. And you can hit the save icon on the bottom of the page. And as you can see, here is our scan document. And you can see it automatically named the document after it scanned all the text through it. So the main title of this document was Quick Guide for 4K Photo, and that's what it named it. Of course, if you click into that, you can change the title just by clicking at the top right there. We're gonna save that. But we can also do this with photos as well. So we're gonna hit scan document one more time. And I have this photo here of me and my brother, so I'll just bring this into view. And once again, without doing anything, it'll just scan that photo and put it into our note. So I'll hit save. And here is that photo. And because there was no text in this photo, it just says scan document. So I'll click in this and I'll name it photo. And we'll hit save. And there we go. We have now a scan document and a scan photo inside our notes app. But you can see here the crop isn't perfect on this first document and we can actually fix this if we want to. So if we click into the document, you can see there is a crop icon on the bottom of the screen. If we click this, it'll go back into the view uh, that we saw when we first scanned the document and we can change the crop of the document. So we're gonna remove a little bit of dead space here from the bottom of the document. That looks good and we're gonna hit done. And just like that, we have a perfectly cropped scanned document right in our notes app. Now, if we want to save this to our files app, we can save it as a PDF as well. So just click in here and we're gonna click the share icon and then we're gonna hit save to files. And then you can choose if you wanna save it to iCloud Drive or on your iPhone. So I'll choose on my iPhone and hit save. And then if you open the files app and you go to your on your iPhone location, you can see there is the document that we scanned and there is the title that the iPhone automatically gave it uh, using AI after scanning all the text. So if you click into that, there is our document right there. So I just wanted to show you really how fast that you can scan multiple documents in the notes app because it really is quick. So if you go into scan document again and you have many documents that you have to scan, if you just bring it into frame, it'll keep scanning the document over and over again. So I'll flip it over and then it'll scan it and it'll bring it in all over again, just like that. So you can keep bringing in new documents into view and it doesn't matter of the orientation and the iPhone will pick it up and it'll scan it and it'll bring it right into the notes very easy. The animation is pretty cool. Sometimes it takes a while because I'm holding my iPhone with one hand. I'll hold it a bit still here. And this is a perfect example of sometimes it doesn't work, so it, uh, it tells me to drag the corners to adjust the crop. So sometimes it may not get the edges of a document completely right, so you can uh, crop this and make it uh, perfect. But as you could see previously in this video, it works 99% of the time and it brings in the document perfectly and it gets rid of the glare on the paper as well. So as you can see, scanning documents in the Notes app is really simple and really powerful and it's built right into iOS. If you guys have any questions, comment down below. Also drop a like if you found this video useful. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Michael and I'll see you in the next video.